This is the deepest natural harbour in the UK, once supporting a whaling industry back in the 18th century, and now one of Europe's leading oil ports. But Milford Haven here on the southwest coast of Wales is also famous for its fish. Now it's early in the morning, the trawlers are back, let's check out the catch of the day. David, it's had an interesting history here. What about the port now as a fishing port? What's the situation at the moment? Well, we're a long way from where we were at the beginning of this century. Uh, the, the port here would have had uh, 350 odd vessels uh, in it and thriving fishing business. Nowadays, um, the uh, main fishing comes from the continentals who land here and their fish are sort of taken away to the continent so we don't actually benefit from those fish. But we do have local vessels landing here and uh, they sell to local, local markets. But the fact that the continentals are coming in means that there are fish here. Oh yeah, there are fish. Um, there's unfortunately declining stocks as we know uh, with quotas being placed on the numbers of fish that can be taken. Um, but uh, with care and management uh, there will continue to be a fishing industry. Um, as somebody said from Scotland, one of the uh, Scottish fishing organisations, he said that uh, there are enough fish in the sea for man's need, but not for man's greed, and we do need to be careful. What fish are we catching here at the moment, then, at this time of year? This time of year, it's largely um, skate and ray. Um, other spe fish species that we're getting at the moment, um, a lot of bass coming in at the moment, and uh, they're delicious, absolutely wonderful. Well, I, I see uh, there's a trawler coming in at the moment, so... Um... I love looking at fish anyway, so I'm going to go and see how the captain did. Thanks a lot, David. Thanks, Emil. How long have you been out for? Uh, yesterday afternoon we went out and uh, back in this morning. Um, we were just off the head, St Anne's Head. You know, about six mile out. Successful day, though? Not really, no, it was a bit quiet. The weather blew up a bit now, but... Uh, we only planned we just a quick one anyway. What have you caught? Mainly ray. That's the main catch. And uh, anything else? Bits and pieces, a few lobster and crayfish and a couple of small turbots and things, you know. Gary, you're one man who certainly benefits from living near the harbour here because you're a chef and you own a restaurant. Correct, yes, the sail off restaurant, also adjoining the Codfather Takeaway. The what? The Codfather? The Codfather, <laughs> yes. We just specialise in cod there, you know. <laughs> what about the restaurant? Do you specialise in fresh fish there? A lot of fresh fish. Very, very good. Um, plenty of fish coming in into the dock here. And do you come down here regularly then to select your fish? Yeah, every couple of days or I get on the telephone or somebody will phone me. Do you have a particular favourite of fish there you like to cook? I like lemon sole to eat myself, but I like cooking monkfish. It's what? a versatile fish, very chunky. Yeah. Great. Very popular at the moment. Is it? I was going to say, what is the, probably the most popular fish at the moment? Monkfish is very, very popular at the moment. And uh, shellfish still? Shellfish, yes. I mean, a lot, a lot of people used to eat the, the mussels, but lobsters, crabs are all coming back into fashion now. Does it mean it's going to be cheaper here because we're right near the harbour and you can get it delivered to your door? I can get it a lot cheaper, yeah, but as they send it away, the price goes up. Of course. But the more people eat it, the cheaper it's going to be. Right, well the good thing is we're, we're right here on the quay and uh, we're going to go and find some fresh fish. I don't know why, but I love looking at fresh fish. Now, Gary, we're here with Gareth, who supplies you with all your fresh fish. You can tell we're in Wales, can't you, Gary and Gareth? He supplies you with all the fresh fish? Yes, he does, yep. And what are you looking at today? Today I'm looking at turbot, plate-sized turbot, lovely flat fish. Serve for one person on a plate, natural fish as it is. So, what would you do to prepare it? I mean, you, you just put a little bit of butter or salt on it. And yeah, I trim it up. it up. Then I would probably pan fry that in olive oil and butter. I might chuck a few capers in there, a bit of parsley, the lemon juice. Have the natural product as it yes. is. That's how people like their fish. The less flavouring, the better, because you can really taste the fish when it's That's fresh. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> now we've got a lot of fish here, Gareth. I'm just underneath the. Uh, turbot here, if I pick that up. I noticed we've got some fairly exotic looking fish here. What's, what's this one here? Red snapper from uh, the Red Sea. I was going to say, that's not from the coast here. No. How come you got red snapper from uh, the Red Sea? A customer ordered, ordered it, so it's a case of get on the phone and get it in. So you're an international business as well, you can supply international fish? Can do, yes. What's this big... Uh, that's bluefin tuna loin. Oh, and again, that's come from where? The Oman, in the Red Sea. Yeah. And 
so you find there's just as much a demand for local fish as there is for tropical fish? Absolutely, stuff. especially now. Yeah, times are changing. Really, so you have to look further afield, as it were. Yeah. But you seem to be doing pretty well with the local fish here. We've got some beautiful turbot, as, as we can see. Yeah. Some monkfish, is that uh, local, this monkfish here? Monkfish is local, caught off the coast of Pembrokeshire, out in the, out in the Irish Sea. Yeah. And that's all being prepared. You take the head off, and that's now ready for cooking. Yeah. Well, you have to skin it as well, but basically, it's that's how it goes. Right. And this is a very big fish here. What's that? That's North American halibut. It's lifted up <laughs> because look at that's beautiful, isn't it? But that's a baby compared to. Is it really? What they, they can. They grow very big. Yeah. Thousands of kilos. Now there was something squeaking around in a little box down here. Look at the size of these. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> really fresh. You can't get much fresher than that. Now, is this again from from the sea here? Yeah, it's called a European lobster, fished off the coast of Pembrokeshire, local. And uh, this is a perfect size for the restaurant, isn't it, Gary? Yeah, it's a lovely size. It's like Gareth said earlier on. Best lobster in the world. And how would you cook that? You'd uh, boil it or steam I it? I would boil that quickly and a um, couple of minutes, 15 minutes maybe. Cut it in half, serve it on a plate that is, or you can do it hot. Oh, you can so many dishes you can do with lobster, but a lot of people just like a half a lobster on a plate, lovely bit of salad. You can't beat that really, can you? Yeah, just stop, please. I'm getting hungry. And I have to say, it's a bit sad because it's a case of Billy No Mates tonight, so I'm all on my own. So I think I'll probably spoil myself. Any chance of a table for one? Certainly. Great.